Hi, this is Don, the owner of Don Anthony Realty. I uh, just wanted to give you my monthly update for homes that are for sale um, in the Charlotte Region Multiple Listing Service. Uh, this is a comp compilation of uh, statistics that show what the inventory levels are uh, for March of 2011. If you look at the 90-day rolling average inventory, uh, this basically is saying that what is the inventory level if you combine the last 90 days um, so that we kind of get a little bit more of a smoothing effect. Um, and you see here, this is the 2011 numbers are the one in purple here. And you see here we're still lower than we were last year. This last year is the green numbers. Um, so our inventory level is lower, which is good, a good sign. You want to have inventory lower. Uh, the lower the inventory, uh, the the kind of more balanced it is between a buyer and seller market. Um, we're still higher than we were back in 2008, um, but lower level than previous years. Uh, so that's good news uh, in, in, uh, in terms of the inventory levels. Uh, we want to try to bring prices back in line, not having a, such a buyer's market uh, where buyers are uh, just snatching up deals uh, simply because the sellers have uh, there's too much inventory out there and in order to be more competitive the sellers have to lower their prices dramatically so we're seeing a little bit more um, of a balance which is a good sign there if you look at the actual months um, again here the 2011 numbers are the blue blue numbers and you can see here that we're actually lower than we were the last three years uh, for the mar month of March which is great um, so uh, you know it was in previous years it was was not quite left to the 2008 levels in most both the previous two months but actually we pretty much matched it went a little bit lower than we were in 2008 so um, again that's a good sign inventory uh, staying at a low level uh, you can see here on this uh, chart it shows that the inventory has declined um, pretty much in every every category which is great every price range from below $120,000 all the way up to above a million um, price uh, uh, the inventory levels dropped which is which is again great news it's not like there's one in one market in particular that's uh, driving it it's every market uh, every different price range uh, dropped uh, so again that's great news uh, for March um, we're seeing here the spike of uh, homes that were uh, went under contract. These are what we call pending sales, which means that homes that are under contract. So, again, extremely low levels in January, and I was very worried about how low that was uh, for January. But uh, we're going back up again, which means that buyers are starting to come back on the market. And, uh, again, this is typical during the season. Um, last year, if you look at 2010, we had a huge increase, and that was really driven by the tax uh, the tax. Um, incentives that were out there last year uh, to get the homes under contract before the before April 30th so it's not surprising to see that and I'm not surprising to see it lower than it was that year but what I'm hoping to see is that rather than having this huge decline in May uh, I'm hoping to see uh, over this year more of a smoothing effect and more normal uh, inventory levels like we had previous years so again you're going to see a typical increase like you see, saw in 2008 2007 uh, and then probably decline as the year goes on but at least we're uh, we're kind of moving in the right direction we're seeing more buyers out there now um, so again that's good news for the market closings again this is this is the number of sales that actually occurred in each month um, we actually had an increase in uh, March we're kind of back almost exactly where we were uh, 2010 in terms of the number of closings again I expect that to continue to increase and rather than seeing a big drop off like we saw last year hopefully again it's going to follow more of a normal pattern like we had previous years so we're going to hopefully see an increase continued increase uh, up until you know say midsummer and then a decline again but we'll see how that plays out Interest rates uh, took a dive in March, which was good news. Uh, you know, hopefully interest rates stay a little lower, but I'm not sure how that's going to play out. Um, again, we had a big increase over the last few months, and uh, glad to see that it went down again. Uh, but again, you look historically, it's really looking pretty good still. I mean, you're you're looking down around the uh, you know mid fours, 4.84 percent for uh, for March, uh, compared with you know back in 2006, way above uh, almost you know above six and a half. So again, it's good to see see that. Here's what I'm actually happy about. You're seeing that these are the number of new listings. These are the number of new people coming on the market uh, to put their homes on, homes for sale. And you're seeing a, a big increase there. That means that I think people are more confident about uh, what's going on in the market, uh, the fact that people are wanting to put their home on the market and give it a shot to get their home sold. So, again, that's good news. That's the inventory report for March 2011. Uh, if I can help you out at all, it's Don Anthony Realty. The website's DonAnthonyRealty.com. And uh, feel free to call us at 704-644-1467. Thanks. Take care.